Ah, look at this. We got this beautiful thing. We are so back. That's the name of this session. We are so back. Vintage Team Draft. Cube. Vintage Cube Team Draft. Doesn't matter. You know how this works. We are back in the server. We are back drafting. Teams are Elikasis, Pro Tour Champion. Myself, somebody. Barnyard, who I don't know who this person is, but I have never have lost to them twice already. Mark which I don't either know this mark either. I haven't been drafting so much lately. But the others are Folero, who has been here forever and always beats me, like literally always. I, I have a spreadsheet for this. He always beats me. Stefan Mental Misstep, who just won the mocks. Some random call LSB, who nobody knows. And Strider Osmanos Wuni. Well, I will always cherish in my mind because he was the protagonist of the first Pro Tour match I have ever watched in my life. Versus Frank Carsten playing blue black favorites. Wonderful. Let's play. Okay, here is the pack. So, this is LSB's cube. It's slightly different from Magic Online Cube. For example, we have cards like Chaos the Defiler from Warhammer 40k, Fastbone, the rest, Chaos the Defiler. So, Fastbone is the most broken card in this pack. That doesn't make it the best card. At least two first. There's Mom, World Giver, there's Guardian Scalor, Chaos Defile is extremely powerful. Lures is super good. But who am I kidding? I'm taking fast one because I sometimes you just need to feel something. Oh, this is new. X green white when farmer cotton enters the battlefield create X one white white halflings gather tokens and X foot tokens. How many X spells do we need in cube? Pretty good. So after fast one, Leobold is a very good follow up because with fast one you really want draw sevens. And um, let me tell you what you want with Leobold. So that's my fourth runner. Right? So Leobold is just a solid green creature. Sometimes you end up with a fairy. I mean, this is perfect. <laughs> what am I going to do? The cards just keep coming to me. They keep coming to me. Uh, so, Tiny Bones, the pickpocket. Attention, pickpocket. Black, 1-1, one, one, Death Touch. Whenever Tiny Bones, the pickpocket deals command damage to a player. You make a target non lamperman card from that player's graveyard. And mana of any time can be spent to cast it. Cool. Uh, yeah. Time Spiral is great, I would love a Ponder, and that's it. The rest of the cards I don't care about. I mean, we have like the perfect start. Right? And now we have to slow down. Village the Bog will be the peak. It's basically the Demonic Tutor. And with Fastbone, it's going to be so fast. I take Village, Will, Corsair, because nobody's going to pick Corsair. Corsair and Fastbone is cool because it offsets the life loss and it kind of matters you want to choo haste etb something get plus one plus one you plot it on turn two and turn three you place something play this give it haste yeah pillets pillets is fine red and six could be okay too it was the other car i was thinking about uh questing miss we all know i love this car but there's waterlock grove which is wonderful and there's also twilight striker which is just great with fast one I think Waterlock Grove has to take a bit of priority, both as mana fixing and as a useful land. So yeah, let's go with that. We will jump at the opportunity of taking Ramuna Excavator or Crucible of Worlds, but we will not jump at the opportunity of taking cards in this pack because they all suck. They do suck. Oh my god. Uh, Talisman, not really. Thief of Sanity. Trespasser, I mean, I don't mind a Trespasser, it's just like. It's not much. But yeah, it could preferably be the pick. Trespasser is like the solid card, right? Like, you don't love to have it, but it will be there. I don't think we want Utopia or Mox. Gemmirs is red green, not really what we're looking for. Ursa's Bubble could be the pick, just, it's just free. I could also try to hate something. I have passed a lot of mono white cards that are very good. Uh, maybe maybe Utopia Sprawl is very good with Time Spiral. 
I, I'm not sure what... I'm, I don't feel like I'm passing anything too broken as to cut it. Okay, exploration as a smaller fast one, I think it works. I have had many fast one plus exploration decks in my life. Sometimes they suck. Wait, what if upheaval is just better? Yeah, maybe upheaval is better because when you do exploration and fast one together, they just really, really suck. So let's take upheaval. Wait. Okay, now here I like Green Sands for Leobold. And for any interesting green creature we may find. There's this thing, but I'm going to take Nurturing. Yeah. Our mana base is a bit painful, not gonna lie. Scavenging news would be a way of making it easier. Yeah. And Corsair. Corsair is going to help a lot. Our life total is under duress by our own cards. Oh, question? I mean, sure. Plan B of just playing creatures and attacking, it's always a plan. I like those decks. Uh, this, get, this is getting in. We're going to be hardcore green, I think. Like a main color green. Then a little splash for Leo and the blue splash for the time spiral and upheaval. That works for me. We can get a Thag of Triumph at any point. That will also work for me. Going to take out tendrils, passing Sunfall. We have passed so many blue, uh, white aggro cards. Sunfall is just fine. Okay, white seems quite open. Uh, time twister. Well, okay, plus is powerful. We did pass um, duplicate Titan, but it was the other way around. Plus is so powerful though. But there's Reman. Reman is great. Titania is very good with fast one. Just drop. I want Reman. I want drop. I want Titania. I want Eternal Witness. I want this. Plus is the most broken card here. I think I'm fine passing it. I think, I think so. I'm going to play Reman. I think Interaction is so good. And Reman just digs you to your other stuff. That's so powerful. Let's see. Underground C is very fine for this plus. We want Forest to make Utopia Sprawl work. But... Mm, Subtlety is fine. Git Probe is fine. Waller Roots will come back for sure. We'll play this. I will play this. I will take Underground C. Ideally, black is just going to be a splash. So having underground C and maybe by you, you know, could make it enough. Hmm. Animating Leobold is always interesting. Why is it going? Okay. Ignoble is fine. So we are to have Fastbone and Ignoble Hierarch because they don't really do the same thing. But still, accelerating into our cards is going to be fine. And there's no Sultai Noble, so it's just going to be the Jan one. <clears throat> Imperial Seal will search for the combos. It's just, I, I hit this card with a passion. We'll stick some some Savager. Not that right. Not that right. Talisman, I don't really want. I don't really want this either. So it's either Savager, Imperial Seal, or Phantasma. I guess it has to be Imperial Seal. Oh, I cannot pass this. I just passed a flash. Oh, see. Force of Despair, that's good. Elvis is interesting. Ulan Wall is fine. I like Westing Beast a bit better. There's a bunch of green creatures that attack with haste. But you can go turn 1 Accelerator, turn 3 thing, turn 4 haste, turn 5 haste. Wall Spine, I have to take to hate this out. But I'm passing limbs through both. I hate that. But I cannot pass a Wall Spine Womb after passing a plus. There's no way. 
here I'm going to take the Verdant I would love to play Seekers or, or Brisley or even Garu I think Verdant is just so good that's a, a late Verdant too oh Ramuna perfect yeah, Ramuna when we already have Green Sands I mean I still like Crucible better because it's a it's not a Kvito, it's harder to interact with it, but Ramunap is wonderful. I like Tamiya. Tamiya is good when you are doing combo stuff. Mindstock is fine. This is not an Oath deck. Cobra is fine too. Maybe it's Cobra, you know? Cobra with Fastbone just goes so crazy. There's Titania here. We don't have anything to make Titania good. Well, Verda, Nurturin, and Waterlog. That's probably enough. Or Glissa, Pig. Well, like, these are all good cards for us, but Titania is probably the, the one with most the most potential. I'm going to take this as a removal over the Wall of Roots. Or I could take Probe. Probe is good with Imperial Seal. Nah, nah, one removal. Our first removal spell is fine. Uh. I'm taking out Jaw Wheel, I think. I have Tendril, so nobody's doing that. I'm taking out the Bodyguard. I, I don't think Foleo is playing white to, for what it's worth, but. I will find Wound. Yeah. Okay, Samson Savage is fine, right? It's better than the rest, and. Could just be a green beatdown deck that suddenly switches into a weird combo when you draw like Fastball or something. Sultai stuff. That flash is going to the other one over the other. Like this is fine for this, but I think over one of it is better. Garrug is good. Garrug is very good. Not bad. Things walkers is are great. It's not very hard to understand that. Groove triplets. So we could have had flash with groove triplets and wall spine wound that we picked it. This is going to be an easy polluted. Whoever has the flash is going to be a real threat. I'll have to confer with the team later to see what we what we are. I like polluted. Oh, I like birds. I really like birds. I wouldn't mind Indaza to make my fetch lands into moon green. Uh, yeah, Birds is awesome. Richa is fine, Wands is fine, Sylvan is fine, Lorian reveal is fine, but Birds is just awesome. I think I'm an Eureka, Eureka deck, or an LED deck, or a Walrog of Moria. Not a Jace deck. Yeah, Imaya is interesting, it's very good with Utopia, but I think Yaimaya will come back. Karn is fine as a Planeswalker that we can play early and draws us extra cards. Mm. Antique Search is fine with Ramona, and that's it. Oh shit, I, I, I didn't pick, I'm an idiot. Oh, Thrun Orb. Thrun Orb is infinite for us. There's Ursa too, but we're not an Ursa deck. What's in Ursa sucks? What did I pick there? Terra Sander, oof. I mean, oh play. What's a mistake? Thrun Orb is so good for us. What's in Ursa? Maybe a mistake? Probably a mistake. But Thrun Orb is infinite. In several ways, in several different ways. Uro. I quite like Uro. I like Hualdi too. Yeah, I will take Uro. So it's weird. It's a weird sidestep because we are not really filling our graveyard all that much. But Uro is just nice. We we'll have liked to have picked the, um, the Frantic Search, which was going to be my pick, and it's good with Uro. <clears throat> Several interesting cards here. There's Wasteland. I think Wasteland has to be the pick. It's not a stream mine, of course, but 
it's just nice and with fastbone and Ramona <coughs> and Titania. Yeah, no what else, Natural Order and Relic Races, even Tough Cookie are fine and Fire Exit. Like, this is a good pack for us. But I, I think Wasteland is the best card. And we have a, a lot of playables already. So. Oh, Thagoth? Thagoth? Thagoth is perfect. Thagoth is just perfect, making both our fetch lands into great picks. Thagoth is perfect. Sylvan. Do I like Sylvan Karate? I like accelerations into our four drops. Drowning the lock is playable. We already have to cut some some stuff, but drown will be useful at some point. A cyborg car or what have you. Uh, there are some that can start in the cyborg. Mm. Yeah, this is a deck already, right? Hmm. No, it needs like one more card, I think. Probably Wolf. Sylvan is good in this kind of deck. Yeah, Sylvan is good. Probably better than Imperial City. Our mana has turned out to be quite. Powerful, I think. I don't love the underground sea when I'm playing Udo, but Javi Maya is nice. Javi Maya is very nice. We have a good deck. It's just like a green bit down deck that can combo out of nowhere with fast one and stuff. I'm going to take the. I'm going to take Kappa since we passed an Ursa. That Ursa passed even to Hound. So we passed a Flash and an Urtha. Those two are haunting me. The rest, I think, are fine. And I'm not unhappy. Okay, Folero disconnected for a second there. We're back. Oh, yeah, no, what else? Yeah. And last pick, Magic. Cool, 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 cool. Magic Online time. Let's do this. Uh huh, huh, huh. Welcome. So this is 17 lands. And I'm playing fast one. I would like to play a bunch of lands. So when you draw fast one and you don't know lands to play, that's so sad. <sighs> could take out the Utopia. It's just not great. And I have like one. I have a lot of non. Oh. Yeah. I have a lot of non forest. The... If I do this, how many? Let's figure this out. Uh. Uh, these are all green sources, which there are plenty. I think 13 green sources is fine, but it wouldn't be 13 swamps. For turn 1 Utopia, there would be only 9 swamps. Yeah. Taking out that. So, what about blue? Island, you see. Blue? Where is my power? This sucks because now I have to go search for it. Mm. Uh, um. Power. Looted, Grove, Verdant. Six blue. Six blue is not enough. Not for double green cards, right? How about black? It's basically the same. Just changing water log for nutrient. But six black is plenty. And six black is probably too many. So I could swap a swamp for another island. Yeah, I like that. Let's put a bunch of random lands here. Hmm. Okay. okay, okay, I like it like this. Okay, talking with the team, let me show you their deck list. So, deck list this is Elix. Elix has, Elix has Triplet, Torsten, Archon, so great. 
uh, he didn't see the flash, so Folero has flash, but well, these are some of the best flash threads. Folero probably has Archon and Replicator. Sneak Attack, Black Lotus, Fracture Identity. Ah, uh, this is all over the place. Jao will just because it's good with Lotus, I guess. No more lies, specification, fracture identity. This is chaotic. I like it. This is uh who is this? This is Black Winds or Mark. Okay. Why are we playing Rizabran and Enrakul? We have Salo Grave. Salo Grave. Just Salo Grave. Hmm. Dark Grief, Seldre, Fury, Captain, Abu, Seasoned, Goblin, Preacher. This is fine, it's a solid deck. Right of Flame, I don't know if I love. Caracas is nice. Uh, 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 anything cool here? Not really. Okay, okay, there's some stuff going on here. Harvester Misery is in here, that's nice. And then this is uh, Barnyards. Mana Creed, Pierce. Okay, this is like basically mono white. So these are all the white cards we passed to our left, actually. In the first and third pack. And they are here, right? Yeah. This is cool. There's some stuff in the cyborg that are not bad. But this is this is good. Mox Diamond and Mana Creed to go fast. This is a good blue deck. Blue white, but could take out I, I wouldn't mind cutting the, the white the blue cards actually. They're fine. Okay, let's battle. Mm -hmm. Let's beat Folero. This is a hand. Turn 3 over 1 of on the play. That has to work. And depending on what we draw, meaning if we draw a land or not. We can play Leobold in the meanwhile. Yep. Leobold it is. Room 2 Leo, room 3 Urban Wallodity feels powerful. We're stopping the currency converter right now. Birds of Paradise. Doing his thing since. So we're pretty sure Folero has Flash and probably some discard thing, some reanimate stuff, seeing as, as he looks mainly black. The Balrog as a card you can reanimate. Sample heads. So this is the Balrog, but it's from the commander set. So it's an 8-8 that you can cycle, and if you cycle it, you create two closer tokens. Whenever it dies, you may exile it. When you do, for each opponent, exile up to one target key to the player's controls. It's an 8-8 with trample and haste. Okay, I'm going to deploy my mana. Trying to get upheaval going super fast. Maybe even Urban Wall of Oddity, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Next turn I can flip Urban Wall of Oddity, and that's almost lethal. But I can also play Upheaval, reset the board, the board, and then replay Birds plus Elf. And the next turn play Urban Wall of Oddity. That would work for me. We'll sacrifice a creature here, yes. Uh, I want to be Leobold. Because I, I plan to do the upheaval thing. So Leobold is fine. Like upheaval here should win the game. For me. If I have counter too early. Yeah, I have. It's going to be upheaval oddity into questing list, so. Pretty neat, I would say. Okay, 
GG's. Okay, what well, seems like a mono black discard deck. I wouldn't mind who's. I wouldn't mind trespasser, I guess. Uro probably too slow. I don't know. I have I have seen relevant targets for long goodbye other than Liliana. Okay, uh, so seems like we passed Stefana. Good deck. He's really really making use of that Ursa we passed. Team drafting is so hard, man. Okay. Play up. Something I can wait. Ooh. Ooh, that's painful. Oh, yeah. That's big. And now Ascent Rider is ready to come. In the pillets, makes sense. We are never getting to pillets, man. Okay. Out. I don't know how we are beating this. Uh, we'll have to find a way. Is there a two drop I want? I don't think so. I think I just want birds. And play the fast one. I think fast one doesn't matter. So I look for a two drop just in case there's something I'm missing. Yeah, there's Us. Us doesn't really matter. It's going to be birds. Could be novel. Similar, but birds. Here could be the way of getting back into this game. Some And you have to beat them. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We cannot beat this, but that's fine. Eight damage. Yeah. Maybe with a pet slam, can get the lotus core. I mean, technically winning the race since we can block. No, if he activates the keeping tar pit, well, we can kill, we can kill the tar pit next turn. <sighs> Pet slam is not enough for Lotus Cobra. We need more than one card, and we don't have them. But we are technically not losing the race. Well, we are also not winning because if he stops attacking, it doesn't matter. Okay. We are going down to one with invalid. Oh, not attacking with us in one. Six damage means we can let Ascent Rider pass next turn. Pass through, I mean. I don't want to play this. I want to leave Wasteland up for Creeping Tarpit, but I don't want to have to use it. And I want... I want to take one from the Lotus Cobra. I'm happy doing this. 
I don't want to take one from the waterlog group either. Three mana here, plus one. I have options here, not many, not some. I have upheaval is not it's very far away from symmetrical in this position. So much better for us. Oh, oh, that's scary. Like, he took a long time last turn to decide what to play. Now he's tapping super fast. So, we may have run into whatever his plan was. Necron Death. Probably GG. Giving my question. <clears throat> have to jump the Ascent Rider. Plan? I'm going well away. Doesn't quite cut it. Sorry, uh, so I didn't change anything sideboarding. I thought I had a stop there. I, I thought I was recording there for a second. Um, it's a wonderful hand. This is the stuff dreams are made of. Going to lead with Janowar, just in case it dies. Being on the play, your opponent has to use two mana to kill your threat. It's unfair. And by threat, I mean mana elf. Leading on elf just in case for the rock kills it. Mull to five. The mull to six was super fast. Like from six to five, I mean. It was extremely, extremely fast. Playing this and then library. Going for a quest in this on turn 3 with Exalted. So it does not bad. That works even through a renewal. Well, not Exalted. Though. If somehow he puts something to his graveyard, I may just win something for Scavenging Ghost. Well, unless it's collected with Galdity, then I cannot really do anything about it. Collective Brutality killing my Noel Hydra would be very annoying. Plus, take my Grimson, I mean. Discarding Archon, something like that would be, a, would be very annoying. Plus. Plus in Nina Archon here would be devastating. Plus Archon is 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 very good, but still it's a two for two, right? Like you kill two lands and that's amazing. But then if you get to reanimate the Archon, that's way too much. Okay, Polero giving it a good thought. There's the flash, and there's the gas in Python. Wow. Oh, okay. He was choosing what to target. That makes sense. Okay, okay.
I'm going to I'm going to win sans for Rus here. I think I will eat that thing right away. I don't want to waste any other guns. Yeah, I think I mean that, that was a good Archon, but I understand the hesitation in whether to exile the creatures, the lands, or the Sylvan Library. But this is fine. Uh, I think stopping stopping a possible reanimation spell there is more important than anything else. Well, we have a very clear plan. It's going to play be playing four fours for four with haste and killing our opponent like this. We'll have a good plan and lethal next turn, so I mean, he moved to five, right? In case somebody didn't keep track of that. Okay, instead of Vampiric Tutor, that's so scary. Can be anything, but he's not dead. So okay, now we have this. Our plan just worked perfect. Oh, oh, that was a lot of points. But yeah, we had a better plan. Or force with haste. That's always the plan. It's always a plan. Jesus. Ah. You know, it's probably the case for some of you, but for me, like LSB is like my favorite content creator. Um, you know, it's like my my fucking magic hero. And being here, playing against him is just amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, I should look at his deck. Before, mm -mm -mm. okay, so Library of Alexandria, Nathan, oh, seem to do that. Huh? Well, have a Ramon up excavator, that would be good. This is that, but I, I would rather get value out of my Ramon up, so I'm going to do this first. Guarantee a, a Sylvan, I think Sylvan is fine, and through an arc. If we find fast one, we get infinite. Next turn I can go Ramuna plus Wasteland. Wasteland whatever this is. No, not that. Results? No. Shit. Shit. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. Uh, now we need to top deck something. So he has like Fallen Sinobi, Ruffin, Turak, Thoughtseize, Dures, Preordain, The One Ring. Mm. Ouch. Ouchy, ouch. And my Ramunab is in my graveyard? That feels unfair. No way of getting it back. Why did I attack? Because I forgot the Ring Protect. Well, at least we can remand the first threat. Not that. Could die he to his own ring, you know? You never know. You never know. That's a forest. Yeah, seems like a Esper mid rangey control is dead. 
not happy with that. He likes the ball. Uh, sure. Let's play. Corsair, Time Spiral. Do I want to Time Spiral here? Probably wouldn't mind Time Spiral being next to him. He duresses me, that sucks, but aside from that, I'm fine. I guess you have plotted the. Just play Thoughtsis and the rest, so either one of those is going to suck. I guess we have plotted the pillage the ball since he plays a lot of dual, a lot of discard spells. Yeah, that was a mistake for sure. <clears throat> Can I get a Titania? Is that too much to ask for? I don't think it is. <sighs> Nathan is going to be big. With a one ring, it's going to attack and kill very, very fast. But we're being, I mean, we're being outcarded. This game without the one ring doesn't really work, does it? Have traded a bunch, and he just have, has drawn 10 more cards than we have. Well, I mean, if we start top decking stuff like Urban Wall Oddity or Questing Beast, we could get there. Actually, I should probably cycle my Nurturing Pitland instead, trying to, to dig. So, we are dying very fast to nothing. Well, step one, resolve this, step two, this resolves, oh, yeah, I'm not counting with it resolving, but I don't know if he plays any more counter spells, no, maybe he does. Did that work? No. Ice. Sure. My dead. Five. Not dead yet, but not that far away from dead either. You know what he does? It's not lethal. Even with the deep current bat, that's not lethal. And I have lands I can sacrifice to the throne over if I need to. I may be dead, you know. Come on, really? Now he has lands he can sacrifice. Why did I play the throne? Did nothing this game, so have been in my hand all along. Yes, I'll leave them. Thanks to a thing. Well, the one ring won this game. That wasn't hard. Maybe if I stop throwing my cards on the table and try to pace them a little bit. Uh, that miscalculation on the Ramona. I think it was fine waiting for the Ramona one turn. We haven't seen that much removal from him. Matic ending, that's the only removal. We saw uh, a big bunch of his lands. Okay, um, yeah. Mm, so it's a fine hand, it's not broken. Still turn 3 questing. It's always fine. Long goodbye, going to be very good versus his deck. 
Let's see here, it's gonna be annoying. Bubble before fetching to see if you want to. Yep. Okay, Lotus Cobra. Playing a fetch slam after playing Lotus Cobra is not bad. It will allow me to question this with the man up unless it dies. Well, it's always a lucky. It's going to keep the Verdant in hand. I have, I don't have any real reason to play it. So I have no real reason to play Questing Beast now. Uh, Verdant technically blue. I'm going to fetch Thagoth instead. I want to tap out of Revan here. So I'm going to get that one. To have Uro double blue for Uro basically. Leaving Reman up. Subtlety. I don't like how that looks, so you can have it back in your hand. And let me go deeper into my deck. Next turn I can Sylvan plus plot the pilot. That side steps the subtlety quite nicely. Unless this is a one ring, in which case I would be happy questing this thing. Fire eyes. Oh, huh, nice. That sucks for me. Well, Sylvan Library will help to keep up with the heavy. It's hard to keep up with the heavy, mainly because of the mana it generates. So let's see what's last point. Feeding our Uro, but Uro doesn't match well versus the Fede. Yeah, now we can Questing Beast, he will subtlety. Can I sidestep that? Any, is there any way for it? The issue is he has this Bower to punish me, too. Plus one time spiral, I want both. I don't, I don't need to keep them spiral in hand. I'm pretty on it. I can keep fast one too. I do not expect Ramon up to resolve. It's quite risky. What if I have a land there? It's not that risky. Here we go. I somehow managed to resolve that time spiral with the fast one. Pretty nice. It's pretty rough in. What is the red for exactly? I'm not sure. I should know probably. Oh my goodness. It's going to steal my fast one. And I just left on red. On my Ramor. Insane. Now, how am I going to time spiral here?
I, I walked right into his trap. Head on into his trap. Right. I'm so bad at this game. Paulo once wrote an article, right, BB? Hello, Vitor Damo da Rosa. Wrote an article saying, Luis Scott Vargas is the best player in the world when playing against worst, worst players. I don't want to kill the Ramona, I don't think. And here I am, proving that right. That's good. Except for this. This is not going to work like I want it to work. To be fair, we have only seen one counter spell from him. Okay, I get that I die. Can you kill it in response? Because that would suck. Yes. I don't have a swamp. Not playing a swamp. I missed that. Because I thought I had a swamp in my deck. Turn damage, point down to two. <laughs> yeah. That happened. Yes, why not? Ah, the Apostle. He stole my combo. Jesus. G G is Luis Escobar. <laughs> that was uh, amazing. I'm going to search that Paulo article right now. I'll be right back. Oh, I found the article. It's this one. It's called sorry. It's called Lessons Learned from the Best Magic Players in the World. And it says Luis Escobar, best as play at playing against less experienced people. That's me. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> let's let's get our, our last opponent. Okay. So after beating us, LSV already three O's. Elika C is so three is in our side. But Barney are three O's too. So I'm one one and Mark is one one. Let's win this, are we? We're on the draw with a I think it's a keep, it's a borderline keep. We have a Riman and then a Sandstorm Savager into a Rook. That's good enough. Osman has a Renan 6 Speed Mine. That's going to be a, it's going to be annoying. So it is. The annoying. Well, at least we are ahead now. Uh, what the. What's going on with my stack? No, don't oh, don't worry me now. Stomp. I can deal. I can live with a stomp. Bro. Can I get my stack somewhere where it makes sense?
Ok, just casting... Mm. That's annoying. I can beat it, but that's annoying. That's not bad. I think I want to play Savager here. It will give me control over the... over the board. And now at least I can eat the la whatever land it is. That's, that remand is really stuck in our hand and I don't like it. Yeah, that's the strip. Are we stripping or are we playing a four cost, Usman? Ah, ah, shit. So we are stripping and killing my birds, I presume. Killing my golem now? Mm hmm. There are like two lands on top of my deck. This could be fine. <sighs> I want to play that, but I want to keep Reman ready. I, I think I have to play it. I can double block the both side if I want to. No. I, I do not want to do that because I'll double block, he sacrifices whatever thing and kills the Cobra and I lose the the one one. I find an, a land. If there are two lands on top of my deck right now, we are back in this game. <sighs> Grizzly Bill, huh? I do not want to remind a bone cross a giant because I don't want him to have a stomp again. Uh, you can attack me. This game on the play. Will be winning so much, I think. Because the stream my thing is so much worse than the draw. Oof. Yeah. Land into Uro, please. Not that. Not that. <clears throat> Want something else? Enough, enough, enough. That's enough. I'm not getting out of this because he sacrifices the, the treasure token, kill my thing, yada yada, you know, yada. that's how it works. Yeah, let's go for it. I don't want to change anything, I like my deck as it is. Remind not the greatest. Nice to have. Okay. Yes. It's a good. It's a very good hand. I mean, having Wasteland uh, going mana lord, mana lord Wasteland just puts you very ahead. Doesn't mean winning the game, but it does put you very ahead, usually. Exploration, okay. Into strip. Sure, but we're still uh, fine now. I don't want to show my Wasteland. Grand 6 here would be an issue. But other than that, we are kind of fine. No, no, no. Land Grand. A forest. Alright. I'm going for Ramuna Pescavator. Not sure. Okay, just a forest. Oh, uh, gardens. Nice. <sighs> I 
I don't really want the green sums for nothing. I think green sums for Ramon ups makes sense. Good. It's not the best. I think it's still fine. Could be Leo. Hmm. How good would Leo be here? Not not that much. Uro what what if he see? if he if I go for Uro, I can turbo char my my upheaval. I don't think it's Cursor or Leo. It's either the Uro or Ramona. Could be Uro, Wasteland the Jetmirs, get ahead. Wouldn't mind. Okay, change my mind. The only issue with Euro is we are not that close to escaping it. But in the end, he's a red green beats deck. We we managed to get Euro into play. It's going to be very powerful. And it's not easy to deal with this Sylvan Karyotid and Island. And those are our ways of escaping Euro. Well, if he kills in Noble Hierarchy, we are not unhappy. Not that, like we are happy, but okay. Oof, does he have crucible? That would be an issue. Streaming is fine, actually. Oh, dear me. Yeah, I'm not wanting to fill my graveyard. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. We'll cycle the tower. Please. Cursor is nice. I think I want to pollute it. And I will. Oh, I should have attacked first. Just in case. Ah. Wanted to trade anyway. He may have an answer for you. You know? Or something like. Now the stream on island doesn't do it, right? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm not sure how he's that block. That worries me. Just more impressive than that. Can afford to do this first. I don't see why not. Okay, let's see how easily can he beat an Uro. Can he, he can, I don't know how to pronounce that. How, how easily he can beat an Uro. I think that's the way of phrasing it. Maybe very easy, maybe he has an exile effect here and that's it. Well, Goldspan is not good. Goldspan doesn't really raise Uro. So I'm feeling great right now. Those may indicate... Like, that's a lot of green mana. Those have to be in some. No land on top. The issue with Uro is it doesn't, it doesn't really make upheaval good. Village the Bog is going to be nice. Okay. One card left. I have no idea where it could be. I don't know how to know. I'm watching photos of this deck, I guess. Stuff like Unruly Crisis, Huali. I'm fine taking Knight, I think. If my Euro dies, um, I die. Okay, Hualdi is powerful. Play two dinos. Okay. 
I can upheave all play fast one and re rebuild super fast. That's always an option. I will rebuild faster. Even though he has exploration. Let's see what he has. What happens if I just pillage here? What would I want to farm? I can attack with you though. Yes, I'm going to attack first. Try to find a, a land on top. He double blocks, that's fine. Because with upheaval, I was resetting the euro anyway. I think upheaval here has to benefit me so much more. I haven't played a land yet, so I can more or less do anything I want. But like now, I pass one, play this, play this. Play this. Hmm. I feel very good right now. The future of the draft is in our shoulders. Let's see. Yeah, he can he can do exploration and start to rebuild, but it's going to be a lot slower than us. Okay. That was our turn. I think we got this one. Oh, I'm doing. Do it. No changes. I could bring in scavenge news because of Uran and the other thing. Reman is fine, but his deck is kind of cheap. So Reman on draw maybe. But I think this hand is too slow. We need a turn one accelerator versus him. I'm not going to fight. I don't think I want the throne orb, I'd rather have the others. The other hand was just like so reliant on the second land drop. He had the stream and which he has had all three games. All two games, sorry. I think we just died to stream and with the other hand. This one at least has a guaranteed play on uh, on us. Something falls keep on top. Oh, wow. Hey, water roots. Water roots is kind of fine. Just going with us, with us here, a bit too slow. That eternal witness is going to get value anyway. Next turn I can pay Euro plus Verdant. So we want to ramp some somehow and get time spiral.
thing, yeah, you play the Tano Witness right away because later it's not going to it's not going to match. No land drop? That would be interesting. That would make the game very interesting, I think. Just land drop. Think. Right away with the Uro. I don't want to eat my own Uro here. I could. Could attack and if he blocks, I eat Uro, but I don't think that's worth it. What do I do if he attacks? Valor Roots is so nice. It's like it's not broken or anything, it's just full card. Giving you mana in both turns, tapping for Call of Calling, those kind of things, like the card is just nice. Mark that. We can beat that. If I find a land and I can Cursor plus a land, ideally a land from the top, so Cursor draws a card. I would want to Sylvan or I would want to. S well, I would want to Sylvan, but Karyotid or Library? That's the question. And if I do not find a land, do I go double two drop? Or do I go Corsair, see what happens? So many questions. Don't play a dragon here, that would be annoying. Mm, that's annoying too. Beatable, but annoying. I'm going to attempt to block it. No. I'm not going to do anything. Do I want to gain a life here? No, because it just stays even with the burden. I don't want to fetch. I'm not unhappy with cards going to my graveyard. Just draw, draw an untap land. That's fine. If there are two lands on top of my deck, I wouldn't be unhappy. <clears throat> I'm killing the bombardiers. Like I would like to kill the Madda, but I think I'm killing the bombardiers. This is going to be more damage out. Next turn I can Crufix plus Sylvan Library, which is not terrible. But we did draw our only spell. Relevant spell. Yeah, I'm going to block and um, don't goodbye the thing. The only issue with letting him attack is he missed a land drop last turn. Just think the bombardiers is a lot better for a card. So I have to kill it. Because, yeah, killing Mada in case he doesn't fight the fifth land is fine. But what if he draws it, or draws it next to just place the dragon from hand or whatever? While the bombardier is always threat, you know, that's my logic at least. Can be flawed. Oh, that's the land. Rightfully concealed in hand. Three cards left. They are not too powerful. We can win this. I draw Leobold. Leobold would be nice. Stomp of Fairies and play. That's fine. That's not the scariest. Leobold or lands are fine. That is fine. Sylvan Orb, not very fine. I'm going to play Sylvan without paying life because I would rather maintain my life total as healthy as possible since it's basically cards, right? With the Sylvan Library. So once I draw the, the Thuran Orb, I could find a combo 
right? I could find through an or I don't think Osman can beat Infinite Line. Also, through an orb, Uro is kind of a combo. You just sacrifice two lands and just keep your Uro. That's easy. This is a dragon. Cycling at Ryom. Wow, that makes me so happy. Oof. This time spiral is going to be okay, I think. Can I find a, the combo? Just. I haven't done it. Luis did it to us with our own cards, and that's not fair. So I deserve to win, let's say. Okay, not attacking with Mad Dragon. I'm not blocking either. Let's see what the Sylvan Library has for us. I don't want to draw too many cards since I am most certainly going to Time Spiral. Right? Depends on what we draw, yada yada yada, but I think this is a very good spot to Time Spiral. So time Spiral is not symmetrical in the sense that I get my mana back first. Interesting. Very interesting. Time Twister. <laughs> so I was going to do that. This is more or less the same because now I untap and I have all the mana already. So it's basically the same as what I was going to do. The main difference being the. Um, I, I don't draw my Thuran Orb. That time Twister was quite interesting. I'm not saying it was wrong because I don't think it was wrong, it's just interesting. If you are really scared of the Thuran Orb as a top deck. Uh, you'd rather have the Sylvan Library, I think. Do I? Maybe not. I have so many cards in hand right now. But none of them do anything. That's kind of the issue here. But I have questing this on top at the worst, worst case scenario. I think Corsair is going to be key in this game. Yeah. Let's go like this. Wow. Well, Corsair draws cards too, in case you didn't know. Oh, the Thorn Orb. That would be nice. Uh, green mana, please. Do I want to draw the Thorn Orb? Not really, right? Probably. Uro, on the other hand, seems a lot better. Need to deploy questing this here and double elf. Seems like a winning play. Double mana dogs, right? And we're attacking all of the sudden. And we're, we're not even behind on the race. Questing this is just obscene. Now he untaps with six cards in hand plus the draw step seven. We have a lot of mana, a land we can cycle. A noose we can use to do nothing. I mean, we want to trade creatures. Like, if he attacks with Bone Crusher, I will trade with the Questing Beast, and that will probably lead to my use dominating the war later. And I think the Corsair life in this game is going to be so key. That's Zeus. Trade. I, I like trading here because of the Ooze. Right? It's good for me, probably. The same way I'm going to offer the trade with the Questing Beast, if he, if he wants to take it. He's red green, and even though we saw a lot of triumphs, he doesn't seem to be playing other spells, other colors. Oof, sacrificing the Wall of Roots, that's so scary. He has seven cards in hand, that's a million, but everything he does is scary. I mean, Eternal Witness, oh, are we recycling the Wall of Roots? That was happening. A time Twister, interesting. Oh, he knows my whole hand, right? Because of the Corsair? That's funny. Is he going to Time Twister again so I, I don't get Ooze value? Oh, Narseta. 
Okay, okay, then that's it. Huh? And I got a land and a land on top. That's not good. Well, I thought we were doing fine. That Narset just ruined us. <laughs> Maybe I should have played those. Narset finds once upon a time and he was this piece. Yeah. Well, that's quite a lot of lands. I'm fine doing this, I think. So much mana, I only want to cycle away my lands. It's fine by now. Yeah, not looking good. Since I have creatures and he doesn't, upheaval would be a decent draw. So, upheaval or death? Dragon. Dragon is a problem, but if I draw a pivot, Dragon doesn't matter. Our top card is a forest, we know that one. Let's find a pivot below them, I guess. Man. Forest. A pivot. Come on, Sylvan Library. What a useless card. <sighs> That's it. We still have another draw for upheaval, but it's getting worse every turn. Still has four cards left and a one super a time in hand. Can use whenever he wants to find more action. I mean, if the action is creatures that don't have haste, we are fine because our out is still up here. He will then try to reveal faster and get there somehow. And he has all the mana in the freaking world. Seems Black Green lost. Had so many choices this game. I think I was like keeping the Corsair over the Sylvan Library was worked out well. Maybe didn't, I don't know. Cycling so Drow. I mean, a million man. That's why cycle before once upon a time. That's weird. He trying to find a spell like a counter spell. Does he play counter spells? I don't know if he does. So upheaval would still work, but it wouldn't be devastating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I upheaval here, if I find upheaval in, in two draws, what happens? One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. Go down to six lands. I go six mana up here. Play a forest, say go. Still think it's worth it. Because if I don't find it, I die. Well, that's. 
That's not nothing. Guy Green Sands for Titania and Roy Green Sands for Uro. Uro doesn't draw me cards, but it will right away gain me 6 life and stay in play. Need to ask the team on this one. Okay, so Uro gets me to 14 life and it's a 6 6 that wins the race. Urban Wallodity kills Narset and leads, lets me use Silver Library. Titania just. Is 10 power on board. I kind of like Uro, actually. 6 life is so much. I don't think he has a removal for Uro. I'm going for Uro. Yeah, I'm going for Uro. Uh, I think it's Uro. 6 life? And he's unkillable? Like if I play Odity and he has a removal spell, I die. Oh, didn't matter because he has a counter spell. Haha, <laughs> mana drain. And I tap all of my green mana, of course. Okay. Going to play, play the Ooze just to block and trade with Markdown. Maybe not because it's going to get countered too. Snapcaster man. GG's. Wow. <laughs> what a way to finish the game. Well, we lost. GG's. Uh, I liked our deck. I feel like we got a bit unlucky. Maybe we didn't play well. It's always about playing bad. Right. Wow, that was the top of our deck. Well, mm, I hope you had fun. It was rough, it was a rough draft, but I hope you liked it. You know, leave your likes, your comments, your subscribes, and come tomorrow for more action. Bye.